it going ladies and gentlemen? We're back with another video. Today we shall be unboxing and reviewing not one, but three separate video cards. We have the MSI GeForce RTX 2080 Super Gaming X Trio. Keep that aside for just, just a moment. We also have the RTX uh, EVGA's version of the GeForce RTX 2060 Super. So we'll be making a separate video for that. Keep that down to the side. Also, we have something kind of interesting. Uh, we have the GeForce GTX 1660 Super. We'll be unboxing this. All of these will be unboxing in a separate video. However, today, in this video, the focus is the MSI GeForce RTX 2080 Super. Without further ado, let's get into unboxing it. Uh, well, the box itself is pretty standard for your typical uh, GPU. So we'll get straight into just unboxing it and seeing what's inside. Slides out fairly easy. We'll just keep this to the side for now. Okay, we have this uh, padding. It's always nice to see that. Of course, we probably have the user manual here. Let's see what's inside this. It's always good to have some stickers included with your video cards. All right, we have, not sure what this is. We have this paper, basically just documentation and promotions. Thank you for choosing MSI. You're welcome. Then we have the user manual. So nothing, nothing out of the ordinary, nothing special, this is your standard. Standard documentation, promotions, whatnot. Now the important part is the card. But not yet. Okay. Well, it appears we have a bracket. Uh, we have a video card bracket. Not sure if you can see that through the wrapper. Looks kind of cool. Um, most cards kind of need these these days because most of the cards these days are outrageously heavy. So we'll keep that aside for now. Looks cool, has a nice design on it. Uh, visually pleasing. Okay, I'll hold this up for you. We have the card right here. Uh, first impressions, it's massive, has three fans. Let's try taking it out. This is a massive card. It's absolutely massive. Comparison, it's massive, it's also quite heavy. It weighs around 3.3 pounds and in centimeters it's about 33 centimeters long and about 14 centimeters wide. Uh, let's see about removing it from the wrapper or the packaging. Okay, so let's just slip it out nice and easy. Keep this to the side. Okay. This is a massive card, as we've said. It's kind of awkward handling it. Uh, let's see, you have the, the back plate. Or 
nice MSI logo, which looks like some kind of brushed aluminum finish. Uh, looks quite nice if it's in your case. Uh, it's quite uh, pleasing to view. Um, let's get down to the thickness of the card. Yeah, this it looks like it would occupy three slots on your motherboard. So just keep that in mind. Because the fan and heat sink are rather, uh, rather thick. We'll move on to the front. We have three fairly decent sized fans. So shortly when we benchmark the card, we're going to see how well the thermal solution is for this card. Three fans should be pretty good. We'll keep that in mind while watching temperatures during benchmarks. Moving on to the back. Moving on to the back. Once again, it's very awkward to hold. Okay. We have three display ports in HDMI port and a USB type C port. So there's no shortage of display ports. We also have, let's, let's take a look at the power connectors. That's a big one. All right, let's take a look. Where are the power connectors? Okay, there they are. Looks like we have two eight pin PCI Express power connectors. Here and here. Now, the positioning of the cables or the ports for the cables, you might want to have ribboned cables from your power supply to make it more uh, uh, visually pleasing. Uh, it's quite heavy. Heat sink is rather large. I'll show you. Massive, massive card. Design is pretty nice. It has the classic MSI colors. Let's see how it would look in the case. It would sit like that. Also, this is where the, this is where you'll need that bracket. Because it's a heavy card, as it sits on your motherboard over time, it will start to sag and droop. So hopefully the bracket will help prevent that, which the bracket also matches the colors as well. That's a no brainer. We'll get into the specs now of the card in just a second. I'll just mention a few of the technical specs of the card, but before I do that, this card is RGB. Uh, this is RGB. This is RGB, as well as here and here. Last but not least, the logo. It's RGB, fully customizable. All right, we'll get into the technical specifications of it. This card has eight gigabytes of GDR, D, GDDR6 memory. Uh, bandwidth of 15 gigabytes per second on the bus. Anyways, let's not waste too much time. We'll carry on with the card. We want to see the card in action. So we'll see the noise levels of the fans. It has three fans, so it might be loud. We'll see. Also, we want to check out the RGB lighting, that's for sure. And we want to check out the benchmark results because that's, in the end, all we care about is FPS. That's the bottom line of video cards. We want more FPS with a nice design to fit with our case. So we'll check it out in a few moments. We'll load, it, uh, load up some benchmarks and let's see how it looks. Here we have the RTX 2080 Super installed in our test case. We want to see how it looks. As you can see, it looks pretty nice. RGB lighting is great. 
It's flashy, it's eye-catching. That's exactly what you want. We can't help but to notice the shroud here, the, not the shroud, the support bracket. It's a bit off-center and we believe MSI designed this support bracket to fit all their video cards and it's not designed for this specific video card and that's why it's off center like that but I'm sure you can adjust it to your liking. In a moment we'll be getting into benchmarks, we'll check the average frame rate, temperature and also the noise level. Also bear in mind right now the noise we're hearing is the CPU fan, also the video card while, while it's idle the fans are completely off, which is nice to have. Here we're running the Superposition Tech Demo at 4K optimized. As you can see, the temperature is 68 Celsius currently, and the frame rate is around 70 to 80. Currently, you can hear some noise coming from the case. However, the video card itself is completely silent. The noise you hear is the stock CPU cooler on the Ryzen. It's rather loud. While the card itself, I can't hear any noise from it. Coming up, we'll show some real gaming examples of benchmarks. We'll have Battlefield, Call of Duty, and some other major titles coming up. So stay tuned for the Battlefield gameplay benchmark and Modern Warfare. And thank you for watching. We hope you enjoy the rest of the video.
Here. Thank you, Sergeant. You saved my life. This key card may save all of us. They are. Respect Hunter. They're here. Moving. Contact! Northeast! Position now! There's a compound! 